Hello, this is Aileen Gonzalez with Life According to Me. So once upon a time, I had an employee and this person was amazing. She was amazing at everything except for her title. Her title was customer service and she truly sucked at customer service. However, we constantly tapped her on the shoulder and everything that she did outside of customer service, she was simply brilliant. She was somebody who we knew that if we gave it to her, it was done the right way and she would be able to explain anything at any time. So she had, we had evaluations twice a year and she did not, if I would say to her, tell me what you do, she would say, I come into work, I do my work and I go home. And I think the favorite part of her day was going home. <laughs> but the thing is that because she was wonderful, I decided I was going to keep track of her work. So I took the initiative of going ahead and on Outlook in the little notepads, I would jot down everything that she was doing that was outstanding and I would give it by dates. So when it was time for evaluation, I would send it over to her. She would do the first part of the evaluation and then it would come to me and I would complete it. Because I was doing that for several evaluation periods, I was able to sit with my leader and promote her. We were able to take her outside of customer service and give her a job that actually was aligned with her skills. She was amazing at reporting. She was amazing at breaking the system and working with IT. So we basically tailored a position around her skills. She was able to get a new job. She was able to get more money and she was happy. And we were happy too because she was flourishing. Now, why am I sharing this story with you? I was taking notes for her. I was actually jotting down all the great things that she does so that she can use that for evaluation, right? But you need to treat your resume just the same way. There are a lot of things that you do that sometimes you don't highlight them as something fantastic that you do. You simply do it because you told to. But the reason, that, and, and the reason it comes out so well is because you put so much of your time, you, you are, have attention to detail, whatever it is, you probably train yourself or you do go beyond your limits just to get it done the right way. And because you do not highlight them, nobody really cares. They just say, thank you, you got it done. If you keep track of your work, if you actually are able to showcase, if you're able to prove how wonderful the work that you do and how timely it is and how effective it is and how, how you've actually gone above and beyond, not only are you able to prepare an effective resume, but you're also able to prepare a killer cover letter. And the reason I say that is because one of the things that we have to showcase is our strengths, right? And when you start looking at all the different things that you're doing on your day to day and every week, you're going to realize where your strengths and where your weaknesses are. And chances are that where your strengths are exactly where you're headed, where you want to be. So by you keeping track and keep and treating your resume as a live document, it's going to allow you to understand where that next level is for you. What is it that I want to be doing in the next two to three years? Where do I see myself and what do I want to contribute in the workforce? Or even if it's just working for yourself. So treat your resume, even if you're not looking for work today, treat your resume like a live document. And if you don't have the time to touch that resume on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, keep track on a notepad because everything that you're doing is going to add value to that resume and it's going to help you with that amazing cover letter that's going to take you places. Take care.